In this video, I'm going to walk you through all the things you can do using the canvas editor in leonardo.ai. In case you want to watch a detailed video on how to use all the features in leonardo.ai, then click the i button because I've covered everything in a single video. So to access the editor, click on AI canvas. This layout is pretty simple for someone who has already experienced AI image generation and some editing. But for those of you who don't know how to use it, don't worry. I'll explain you in detail how to start using this AI canvas to edit your images. So the first step is to add an image. So to add an image, just click on upload image. There are three options. You can add an image from a computer, from previous generations, from community. So I'll add one image from the community and I'll show you how to edit the image. So I like this image and just bring in the image and you can decrease the size of the image. You can in decrease the size of the canvas from here and you can, you can decrease the size of the image by just clicking on the image, dragging it down and then hovering over this image and just pull it down. You need to decrease the size of the image in order to fit the image in this box. Because the first thing that we are going to do is increase the size of this image using AI text. So set the box in such a way that half of the box is on the image and half is on the canvas so that it has some reference and set it in a way that it can be covered in two parts. Like once you want to generate this part and then the second time we can generate this part. Now to generate similar structure of the image on this canvas, I'm going to write add, add similar, I'm not going to add anything difficult. It's just a basic prompt that I'm going to put in and then just click on generate. Now one thing to keep in mind is there'll be four options. So if you want three options, two options or one option, it is up to you. Uh, you can set the guidance scale how strong your prompt is weighted and then step count a higher step count may result in more detail but take longer to render so these settings are up to you now i'll click on generate this will cost one token we get 250 tokens in a day so it's basically free so these are the images that it produced there are four options so you can scroll and check what is best working for you i think this is a good option so i'm going to click on accept in order to edit the image so once i click on accept the image will get locked and now just drag your canvas onto the other part which is still incomplete and then do the same thing click on generate and just within seconds, it generated four more options, which we can choose from. And I think this option looks good. And I'm going to click on accept. You can expand the image as much as you want. And this is a really extraordinary feature. If you want to do something creative, you want to have fun with some AI image generation. And I did the same thing on the other side. And then I click on accept. Now, if you look at the image, the image doesn't look like it ever was smaller than the actual size that it is right now. Now, in order to download this image, you just need to click on download artwork. And one more thing, suppose you don't like any of the action that you have taken and you want to undo the step. Just click on this undo button. You can also use control Z. It is just similar to all the other editing softwares like Photoshop. Let's take a look at the next feature. So the next feature is we can draw masks and add something in a particular area. So suppose I want to add some birds in the sky. This is a masking option. So in order to increase or decrease the size of your mask, you can drag this cursor and then just shade a part of the sky or the part of the image where you want a particular object or something that you want to add and then I've written add birds in the sky and then if I click on generate let's see what we get and it generated a couple of options isn't it amazing what you can do with AI right now so just
check out the options i think this option is okay and i'll click on accept and just like this it added some birds in the scene as you can see we completely changed the image that i picked initially and i made it something different so there are no limitations you can do whatever you want whatever you think so let's try something else i picked this image and i want the car to be a bit futuristic out of the image i just want to change the vehicle so i drew a mask on the car and then i wrote add some futuristic elements to the car and then i click on generate and it generated a couple of options which you can choose from i think this looks perfect all the images are actually pretty nice i like this car right here this one this matches with the scene a bit so i'll click on accept and does it look like that there was some other car standing in this area ever just look at the possibilities i mean the possibilities are unlimited it's just how good your imagination is and how good your prompting skills are so i masked this part out and i told the software to add a man standing in a coat and hat and this is what it generated doesn't look that bad it looks pretty good maybe if i change my prompt a bit the generation can be more precise but this also doesn't look bad so i click on accept now just take a look at how we changed our image from this to this now i just place both the images side to side just to show you the difference and i can do something else i can join both the images together in order to make it look like one single image now you must be thinking is this possible actually i am also thinking the same thing but let's test it out so i place the box on both the images in a way that it has both the references of both the images and then i write add structure and then i'll click on generate and it added some amazing structure and made the image look like it's one single image i think the first one looks pretty good but the second one is not too bad also so i'll click on accept and then i want to do the same thing with the this part of the image so i'll click on generate and just look at the final product we can pick out what all options we have i think this option looks pretty good so i'm going to click on accept and look at the final product what we had and what we produced from it is completely different and really you can really get creative with your imagination and generations now let's try something with this image i picked this image from the community and i'll have placed the box on half of the image and half of the canvas just like the previous images and this is a basic prompt that you can use add structure you can also detail whatever you want to be added in the image but writing just a basic prompt is enough to generate something amazing so just click on generate and once again it has generated some amazing structure so i'll click on accept and then drag the box down and i want some more structure right here so i'll click on generate again and it added some more structure let's see what all options we have got so we have this and this this looks pretty good i'm going to click on accept now let's try something more complicated so i masked this portion of the mountain and i told it to add water falling into a river i mean it it may pick up into a river so now i'll click on generate and see what kind of an outcome do we get so just place this a bit here right here and then i'll click on generate and it added some amazing structure to the image so i'm going to click on accept i want to complete the whole image so i'm going to take the box right here just to complete this part of the image and then i'm going to write add add mountain 
then click on generate and then I'm going to click on accept and then let's complete the last part of the image that is this section right here so just click on generate and it added that part of the image as well so let's see which option is the best I think this option is the best so I'll click on accept now just take a close look at what image we had and what we generated out of it. You can keep generating a whole image. You can add some different elements to the image and create a whole new thing. So this was it for the video. If you liked the video and found the video helpful, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in my next video with some more AI related content.